every American should be angry. You should be outraged. You should be worried. You should be concerned at what has happened in the election and the lead up to this election. Privately, top anchors and executives mock Trump's lies, calling them ludicrous, really crazy stuff and totally off the rails. The revelations coming from hundreds of pages of newly released evidence in the legal filing as part of the Dominion voting system's lawsuit against Fox News. In this text exchanged two weeks after the election, Tucker Carlson texting other Fox News hosts. Sidney Powell is lying, by the way. I caught her. It's insane. He says about Trump's lawyer, Sidney Powell, and Rudy Giuliani's unfounded claims. Sydney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Ditto with Rudy, Laura Ingram wrote back. Tucker responds, It's unbelievably offensive to me. Our viewers are good people, and they believe it. Even as those same hosts went on the air arguing completely otherwise. All right, these election challenges are still going on, and disturbing irregularities have been found and must be investigated to the fullest. On election night, the network first to call Arizona for Biden. The Fox News decision desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. That is a big get for the Biden campaign. As Trump's baseless conspiracy theories started to take hold. This is a fraud on the American public. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. Carlson wrote his producer warning that Trump could easily destroy us if we play it wrong. The court documents showing a scramble behind the scenes as viewers rebelled against Fox for calling the contest in Biden's favor and a course correction internally to prioritize profitability over the truth. After Fox News reporter Jackie Henrich fact-checked a Trump tweet about votes being destroyed, Tucker Carlson texting his colleagues, please get her fired, seriously, what the F? It's measurably hurting the company, the stock price is down. Fox News in a statement argues the court filing contains cherry-picked quotes lacking context. As Fox Was the 2020 election a miracle? Honestly, we don't know. We don't expect to get an answer to it tonight. 